All right, here we are back at Titan Machine Tool running the lathe. We're gonna be cutting some D2. I showed you what we were making and now we're gonna make what I showed you. All right, we're running this RPM at 340. It's gonna have some surface footage when it's cutting the OD. Chips look okay. They do change color, but I mean it is D2 tool steel, so. Let's get cooking. Spindle on, coolant on, spray mist on, I should say. Program run, start, ready. Working one hand, so if you lose sight of what's happening here, please be patient with me, cut me a little slack. Here we go, rough face and turn. Chips are hot. I'm gonna take a couple easy does it facing passes here so that we bring the overall length of all these parts in the same first thing. First things first. They're a little stringy, chips are a little stringy, changing color. I don't have constant surface speed on this machine, so it's just straight RPM. Alright, so that's zero, oh well, plus three. We leave three thousand for a finished cut. This is like a G70, G71 type thing happening here. All right, so now we're gonna cut the OD. Oh, baby. That's why we're running 340. see when they come right off the tool they don't change color but then as they move further on down away from the coolant them babies are conducting some heat for sure all right so that's the rough face and turn I'm gonna turn the coolant off so that I don't get sprayed on we're going to change tools. That's the rough face and turn. We're going to go to finish face and turn. Put that one back in the queue. Finish face and turn, loaded. We're going to actually speed the RPMs up a smidge here. We're going to change gears over to 625. I'm working one handed, so it's hard to change gears with one hand. We're good. Sorry about that. All right, finish face and turn. Tools loaded. Spin the line. 625. Spray mist. I'm gonna use some oil as well. A little dab of oil there. A little dab of oil. Some oil. Oil. Go. Finish turn, 2.168 diameter. All right, turn the spray mist off. We're gonna get it out of the way. 
Turn the spindle off for safety, right? Fill the chips. And then we're gonna switch to the boring bar. Pick up the boring bar. Now we're gonna, whoop, we're gonna throw the phone on the floor. So that roughed hole right there, it runs out like crazy. Not that it matters right now, but I wanna put the center on it for support when it comes time to grooving. Let's groove tonight. So when it comes to grooving, I want some support pushing that bad boy into the chuck so that it doesn't peel out. Probably wouldn't, but we don't wanna take any chances. All right? So we're gonna use this bar and bar here. We're gonna just bore that to like an 860 diameter, but we're gonna put a 60 degree angle on it to match the center. All right, so here we go. Uh, 625 RPM still, spindle on. Cool mist. And go. chips can't see down in that hole though but that's where it's going center on there. Boom, nice and done. Comes out of the way. Spindle off. Coolant off. Spray the chips. Let's get the coolant out of the way. So now you can see we rough face, finish face and turn. Bought the hole straight, 860 diameter, little 60 degree angle to match the center. So we're gonna sign off now. This video is already eight minutes long. And then we'll come back and we'll groove. <laughs>